Hello, I'm Harry Flick TV, I remember it's a year and a half too. And today I'm going to be watching the rest of Freddy vs. Jason vs. Ash, the 2020 comic dub film by Stephen Greenhouse. I'm going to say Greenhouse. Um, now I reacted to the long, I reacted to part one of you guys, then I'm finally getting to this part, so... Uh, yeah, this should be interesting. We're about halfway into the video, and I'm very interested in this film so far. So, with that being said, uh, make sure you go and subscribe to Stephen Greenhead. The original link to this video will be in the description, and without further ado, let's begin. I must have dozed off. I... What the hell? My hand. How did... <laughs> I'm all again. Like before the cabin in the woods. Before the dead I threw it. Ah! Oh! My hand! <laughs> you bastards! You took my hand! Again! Okay, Stephen, and all you crazy people out there, all you nutty guys! That okay, who is this guy? Doing Freddy versus Jason tidbit stuff. St I'm sorry I keep skipping these parts, but I really don't feel comfortable watching the, those segments while the guy is shouting out other people. I don't know, it just feels a bit too personal. No, it was too good to be true. I, the deadites got into my right hand and it know, went bad years ago, <clears throat> so I lopped it off at the wrist. I guess it was I kind of a modern day one, farewell to arms. Um, Never read it myself, include, but the title says which, it all. That was I don't the know, of my I don't know where I'm going with that. What I'm basically trying to say is, uh, I don't feel comfortable with watching someone shout out someone else on their video in my video, if that makes sense. Well, I don't know if you get what I'm trying to say, but basically I don't want to draw, like, unnecessary attention. This little scene is just the latest deadite kick <laughs> in the balls. When stuff like this happens uh. to you regularly, you learn real quick to wear a cup every day. Hazard of the job at all. <sighs> you gotta get to the tool shed. Come on. Where is it? Ah, there we go. Ah, ah, oh, right. damn. Uh -huh. Ooh. Yeah, bad hand. <laughs> that's been done before. Freaking deadites got no imagination. Damn. Handle it then. Can handle it now. Wait a bloody minute. This already happened to me back at the cabin. How's it happening again? <laughs> Wait a bloody minute, were you English now? What's the matter, <laughs> Ash? Ooh. Having a little deja vu? If the bloody trip down memory lane with you in your right hand got you all weepy-eyed for those quiet special nights, just wait till you see this one. Or two, <laughs> or three. Come on, boys, let's boogie. No, not you little bastards again. Ugh. Welcome to our nightmares. One, <laughs> two little Freddy's for you. Three, four, better watch the floor. Five, six, gonna got you quick. Seven, eight, watch us coagulate. Nine, ten, Freddy's whole again. Ah, that's better. It's good to be back. Ah, uh, now we get Finally out of that masked hillbilly Jason's freakish skull. I mean, really, there are only so many times one can stand the dueling banjos and screwing your mother fantasies before even a bastard like me will lose it. <laughs> Look, I don't know what kind of effed up deadite you are or how you brought me back here to the cabin, but you saved me the hassle of tracking down your flame broiled ass. I'm here for the Necronomicon. <laughs> Hand it over and we can finish this undead dance <laughs> once and for all. Oh, uh, I'm no dead. I need to watch the evil Name's dead Kruger. film. Freddy yeah. Kruger. And this is the dreamscape. My little corner of the world to do as I please. All the world's my plaything. And while you're here, Sleeping Beauty, I'm the king. Now then, let's get to the business at hand, shall we? I need the Necronomicon. Damn. And you and those meddling pimple poppers are going to help me get it. But first, <laughs> let's play a little game of pin the claw on the Elvis impersonator, shall we? Oh, quick <laughs> from the comment, dog. Thank you. Thank you very much. Whoa! Yeah, see, I've never been very good at party <laughs> games. Except ones involving pretty chicks and dark closets. So let's try a different game. Something like <laughs> Truth or Die. Now, you and me both. So I've never oh, done that part. You killed my little pet. 
and before he got a chance to sow his wild seeds. But wait, apparently you weren't fast enough to stop Mother Nature. You know that little cock, the blades and the bees. Seems these little buggers multiply like jackrabbits. And now it's time for you to say hello to my little fiends. Oh, if this is a dream, it'd be a great Ooh. time to wake up. Now, gun barrel! Ah! Burned. Are those? Oh, unless what happens in the nightmare happens in the real world. The kids, get up! Everyone get up now! Ash, what happened? What the hell, man? I was just getting busy with the- uh... Dave won't wake up! Come on, kid. Wake up before <laughs> it's too late. What? <laughs> All right, Vicky boys and girls, walk. time mm -hmm. to pick sides. <laughs> Chet and Selma, you're the team captains. I'll take Fat Willie, Easy Susie, and Ted the Sped. I'll take Betty Blue Balls, Pencil Dick, and Two-Ton <laughs> Selma. Um, what? what about me? <laughs> oh, no. I'm not taking Dick what? with Dave. You take him for the Dyke Squad. No freaking <laughs> way. I am not taking him. You take him. Hey, 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 break it up. What? Neither one of you has to take him. <laughs> Dickless Davey here thinks he has a shot with perky little Caroline in chemistry class. But that little whore only likes the jocks. <laughs> what say we see how big your balls are, boy? You up for a little dodge or die? You're all crazy. I gotta get out of here. No, please, just let me out of here. Uh, oh, God, no. No, Davey! Oh, wow. Gaving really bold gape. <laughs> what the hell is going on? Kruger's got him in the dream. If we don't get him up now, he ain't coming back. Come on, kid. Walk it off. Man up. What the dirt on you? Please, please. Give up, pretty boy. Oh, well. Falls to the wall, kid. Davey! <laughs> that felt so good. I'm finally strong enough to get my hands a little dirty. That ought to shake up the little gaggle of brats. It seems that we have a self-proclaimed hero among the sheep of Crystal Lake. And he's on his way here to stop us from using the book. Now listen up good, Gimpy. Here's your part. Take your rotted mama's boy corpse out there and slaughter them when they show up. <clears throat> Take down Ash Williams first. We can enjoy killing the kids afterward. Now get out there and do some killing. I've got some heavy reading to do. There's nothing you could have done, Caroline. This Freddy Krueger is some kind of demon that kills people while they sleep. If we didn't wake up, we'd be dead too. Dave would want us to take these monsters down. The cops split hours ago, but we still have to be careful. Let's someone get the should gear really, ready. like... Someone should really, like, make live-action adaptations of the comic. Like, Hack Slash vs. Chucky. This comic job, I mean... They would pick me like hell, and they'd bring out a whole new genre, you know, a whole new era in the comic book genre. Like, you know, I don't think it should just be superhero films or superhero comics that get made into films. And then we can go after the book. Stock up on weapons and explosives. Rowland and Jarvis, take this list and start shopping. Carrie and I will grab the rest of the supplies and meet you back here. The faster, the better. Come on, chop chop. This is so screwed up, man. Dave was a dweeb, but damn, I don't want to end up like that. Freaking squashed like a roach. What choice do we have? Either hacked to pieces by Jason or killed in your sleep by Freddy. We're boned, man. What are we going to do, Ash? Keep it together, sweet cheeks. We just need to get one. <laughs> Once I've got the Necronomicon, we can send both these deadheads to hell. You might want to rewind that. The program. <laughs> don't do something movie chick stupid, and we'll be just fine. Next stop, Voorhees <laughs> Central. Let's do this, boys and girls. <laughs> Let's rig up the explosives over there on the porch. We'll lure tall, dark, and undead to his spot and bring the whole house down on him. <laughs> I'm going to go inside to get the book. Oh, as long guy. as we don't fall asleep, we shouldn't have to worry about Freddy. Ash, what are you doing? Upgrading the chain lightning. Oh, yeah! This baby can cut through a steel beam. Get on to make quick work of old Slapshot if he shows up before we get the book. Alrighty, then. It's sugar time, baby. This is it. Remember when you see Jason, lead him back yeah. here to the explosives. Toss the bait and take cover. Carrie, hide in the van, and when old Deadhead steps onto the porch, click the remote and blow him to bits and kibble. <laughs> now, this is the most important part. Don't get killed. I have enough blood on my hands to last a lifetime. 
I don't need a couple of dipshit kids and another cute girl to die because I couldn't take down the demons quick enough. Ash, be careful. Man, what the hell was we thinking volunteering for this shit? Don't worry, bro. You and me gonna take out this bro. Wait. He's like the zombies from... Wait, they're all kids? <laughs> Are they? What, why would he kick in the blonde one then? Are they the same age? Like, what? Or are they like in their 20s, but he calls them kids? Because if he's like older than say, 20 or 30, then I guess anyone like around the, around 20 would classify him as a kid to a 34-year-old. Some horrible, you know, year old. they slow moving mofos to stop and growl for brains or something before they rip off the hot chick's shirt and gnaw their knobs. <laughs> Hey, I'd like to gnaw on Caroline's knobs for a while, dick. <laughs> <laughs> True that. But... Hey, what's that? <laughs> Shit, he's here. Look out. Whoa! Run. Freaking run. Get to the hiding spot. Wait, got to plan the bait. Shit, job. I just pissed myself. Shh. He's taking the bait. <laughs> he can't know it's a trap. He can't. <laughs> Where are you? I know you're in here. Aha! Necronomicon ex Crapis. The book of the shitty dead. Now let's get those banishment pages and finish this. Ah! Oops! Damn. Did I do that? Shame, shame, shame. So klutzy. I need to work on my blade eye coordination for the future. <laughs> Kroger! In the charcoal burn flesh. Now, if you don't mind, please hand over my book. Thanks to you and that little blistered tome, I'm finally free of Jason! And now ready to show these kids what real terror is. Wait, how are you here? Did I fall asleep? Did I fall asleep? Did I fall asleep? <laughs> Stop your sniveling, pussy! Thanks to those dead-eyed passages, I'll have dominion over the waking and the dream worlds. So just hand it over and the children of Elm Streets everywhere will suffer night and day like never before. Yeah, keep talking, Shredded Beast. <laughs> I'm the Chosen One. At least that's what they keep telling me. And my business is putting down possessed creeps like you. I'll stop you before you read the book and send your shriveled ass <laughs> back to Neverland with Neverland? the rest of your limp-wristed, blood-wearing <laughs> pansies. Stop me! Stop me! Oh, that's rich! You can't stop me! I did it ten minutes ago! <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Already did it. Damn it. I should have seen that coming. Yeah! Oh! Ah, shit. <laughs> now that's what I call a hand job. <laughs> Looks like oh, the chosen cool. one is about to check out. What's this? All I did for you, and now you want to pick a fight. What would Mommy Dearest have to say? Well, I happen to know a few people that have a fight to pick with oh, you. Oh, things are about to go down. Past and present. This is your chance to give Jason a little taste of his own sour medicine! <laughs> Jason! For the film. Alright, that looks like... Oh, things are about to go down! It looks like this is the final part, too, because... Come on, Jason! It's time to break out the beans and wieners! Because your old Camp Crystal Lake buddies are just dying to see you again! <laughs> oh. Yeah, I think we're going down hard. Well, looky here, Crystal Campeteers! It appears that my helping hands have found a prize! Oh, those little ankle biters are wicked. You just can't turn your back on them. <laughs> unless you want to end up with the business end of a knife tickling your ribcage from the inside. But I guess you already get the point. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Hmm. Dumb as a stump and strong as an ox. You just don't quit, do you? I get well, Jake will fight you back. No way, I'm the nice good side now. But I can't stand around all day playing grab ass with you. The Necronomicon and I have some plans to set in motion. With its power, we're going to start bringing new waking nightmares to all the children of the world. 
And it all starts with my book. Where's my... No. Williams! Where's my goddamn book? What the... Ah! Oh. Whoa, whoa! Then I possess trees? Let me down! Damn you, Kruger! Get out of my head! You're planning into a hentai comic? <laughs> I'm gonna rip that thriller glove right off your hand and shove it up your pansy hat wearing ass. See if I don't. Oh, wait a minute. Nice <sighs> birdie birds. Um, early bird gets worm, right? <laughs> Why don't you flap those dime store feather dusters on out of here and. Ooh. Get off! Get off! Ooh. All right, all right. You like that, huh? You like the taste of ash, do you? Well, I'll fix you. <laughs> I'll fix you good. Oh. How do you like that? You fucking yeah. bird? Chicken wings, everyone? <laughs> Damn, I need a breath of Birds taste like dead-eyed ass. Come on, come on, just a little further. Just a bit more. It's go time. <laughs> Yeah. This guy's like a bad ass. I really want to watch evil dead oh, now. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Hail to the king, birdies. Hail to the king. Uh. That'll teach you. you. Gotta find the kids and read the passages. Not much time before Kruger and Jason come along looking for the Necronomicon and... Oh. Oh no. Damn. I told you kids to be careful. Son of a bitch. I should have been there to save him. Caroline, just like Linda and Sugar Baby. Why can't I just save one of them? Why, damn it! Ash, is that you? Ash! Carrie? Oh, baby, I thought I lost you too. Uh, Carrie, I hate, that well, he did it. I thought Wait, Jason Carrie? was coming for me next. I Any thought I was going to die too. Could and he know? just stopped. It was like he heard something and just walked away. Damn, we gotta get undercover now. Kruger's coming. That psycho used the Necronomicon, and now he can manipulate more than dreams. I don't know how, but he's free in our world, and he can change reality faster than Hef changes beach blonde bunny <laughs> bimbos. The book has the power to banish Freddy and Jason to the Deadite dimension. I've seen it firsthand. Hell, I've been sucked up and spit out by it so many times, I practically have a timeshare in three other dimensions. So we find the right passage, say the magic words, and let the book do its dirty deed. The rift opens, Freddy and Jason get sucked up like a Sunday whore on a blow pop, and they can duke it out with those possessed deadite bastards for eternity. Let someone besides me deal with their dumbass antics and pranks. Serves them both right. Look out! Ah! That's Freddy, and Pamela and Jason Voorhees. I remember seeing photos in some old news clippings my mom had. Freddy must have seen all this in Jason's head. That must be how he figured out that the Book of the Dead could be used to bring him back. What's she doing with the Necronomicon? Not the a little why not. Use it to bring back Jason. Wait a minute. Does this mean Jason is some kind of deadite? You putrid parchment. You've been bringing these monsters into our world for eons and causing more pain and suffering than all the daytime talk shows combined. Well, you're going to help us put this right. You got that ink stain? Yeah, I think the voice back to could be a little right. better. You take the play, book and the with Carrie. I'll keep Freddy and Jason busy while you use it to send these two back to hell for good. <laughs> when time comes, you'll have to say the words Klaatu, Barada, Niktu. All the words. Trust me, you have to say every last syllable or it won't work. They're here. Find the pages and use the book. I'll take out the trash. All right, Kruger. You want the book? You think you can take it from me? Then come get it. <laughs> come on. What are you waiting for? I've taken down creeps ten times worse than you and your little limp-wristed slasher stick. I've worked retail for ten years. <laughs> now that's scary. One, huh? two, Freddy's coming for you. Three, four, Freddy's Oh, no. Five, six, Freddy's What the hell? You kids gotta get out of here. Go on, get home. It's not safe here. Those are real kids. Kruger, get your claws off of her. What's wrong, Ashley? Aren't you gonna save us? You're a hero, Ashley. You're a chosen one, Ooh. aren't you? Well, I don't wanna be saved. I wanna swallow your soul. It's a shame, kids, today, huh? 
They just don't respect their elders. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. Damn. But maybe they'll respect their dead elders a little more. Let's find out. We will. We will. Little girls shouldn't play with snakes. Everyone knows how the story of the serpent in the Garden of Eden turned out, but this time you can keep the promises and the apple. Don't need them as long as I have the boomstick. What we have here, my, 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 sweet cherry pie. I'm so glad you saved that cherry for me, yeah. Caroline. I could tie a knot in a pumpkin yeah. stem with this bad boy. Wait till you see what I could do to you with it. <laughs> Get off me, you sick bastard! Ah, uh, you want to play with the bad boys, but aren't willing to suck a little prune. Uh. Just a little retail clerk tease, uh. aren't you? Now give me back my book, bitch, before I rip your guts out through your ass. You again. What makes you think you can touch me? I'm not your damned wet nurse, you brainless hillbilly freak. I'm a god now. This is my world Ugh. now, pisshead. I don't need you or your rotting brain anymore. Oh, I'm crushing your head. I'm crushing your head. <laughs> they used to call me a homebreaker. Guess now you know why, Ooh. huh? Read the passages while they're beating the shit out of each other. Here it is. Platu. Barada. Nick. Ah! All right, Slapshot. You like hockey, what? huh? Well, it's time for a face-off. Oh, damn, you're one ugly mother. Ugh. Boy, which <laughs> I think the ugly stick little. got beat with your face. Hey, Stumpy, how do you kill an unkillable monster from offing the girl and taking the book? You disarm him. Yeah! Quick, carry, get the book. I got him! Now get the hell out of here and read the passages. Open the portal and send these bastards back to hell. <laughs> nice. I guess it's true what they say. Well, I get crazy. No well, I get drinks when I'm from a hero or a man. Or an anti-hero and it's going to be mutual with whatever benefit came, I guess. And it's... Ooh. Ray Santiago, Pablo Simon Bolivar from Ash vs. E. Along this goes... Wake up, Ash. Please! I know what you're thinking. Right about now, you're saying, Oh no, the Chosen One is dead. Who's gonna kill the boogeyman, save the girl, and get me a popcorn <laughs> refill? Well, I hate to disappoint you, but this zombie dismembering sales clerk doesn't get paid enough to play nursemaid to a bunch of panty-waste moviegoers. <laughs> After all, I'm a little busy here. You know, fighting for my life. Sure, I look like a drunken yard gnome on the corner lot of Gorgie's <laughs> and Kruger now. <laughs> But just like you don't step on the king's blue suede shoes, you can't put this Detroit Deadite Stomper down with a little plate glass to the face. Ash, I need you. I can't do this on my own. Please wake up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Bravo. I Convince oh, me. No. <laughs> I'll be back. Just give me a few minutes, will you? <laughs> you ever hear of a Eureka moment? The eggheads say it's when you have some big revelation. It could be a problem you've wrestled with for years, or a nagging concern that finally gets worked out. Yes, we really brought down the house, <laughs> eh, babe? It could be that moment when you realize that no matter what you do, you're screwed. Next in line for the slicing dice. On the last train to Vegas and lost your ticket. About to go swimming with the fishes, and I ain't talking about dolphins here. Now bring mm. your sweet little ass over here, and give me back my book. That's where my gal Carrie is right now. <laughs> to keep the book away from him. All she knows is that her one ticket out of Dolesville and away from these two monsters is unconscious while she runs for her life. Gotta hide. I can hide in here until Ash. Oh God, Ash. All the victims start to think the same thing at times like this. I kind of believe it's the very reaction that drives some of these monsters to do what they do. They feed on the fear and lap it up like a wino with a $2 bottle of hooch. He's not going to find me. He's not going to find me. Kruger lives for it. One, two, Freddy's coming for you. <laughs> you can't hide, Goldilocks. This Papa Bear is hungry, and he's got pubescent porridge on the menu. Uh. Lives long past his natural <coughs> life by drinking in the misery he causes. Porridge is already bad enough. Lives for the sheer terror I, I in the eyes like of his porridge. victims as they face their inevitable Whole death at his mercy's blades. What do we have here? 
a little game of cat and mouse. Well, you're in luck, little girl. I like playing the role of the pussycat. Especially when the mouse is a little pigtailed whore. Damn, Freddy. Oops. How about here? It's not real. Not Keep real. The queen of the not real. No. Ah! There you are! Oh god! Read the, read the book! God! Is that who you want? I can give you God. This is my yeah. body. It is your brain. This is my blood. It is your wine. Bread and wine. Um. All for you, Caroline. Now eat me, bitch! Ha <laughs> ah! I'll take the Necronomicon, fire girl. Oh, Wouldn't no, want to no. get blood all over it when I cut you from bitch box to whore hole. <laughs> what now? I suppose I should have expected this. You just can't die like a good little darn can you? All right, let's have some fun then. You feel safe coming out here after me on the solid lake surface, huh? You know what waits below, don't you? It's time for those pesky oh. swimming lessons you failed back at camp, Jason. Better get your pony top, little fella. Cause I'm gonna pump you so full of water, you'll burst like an overextended balloon! <laughs> yeah! Lost souls, keep it down, please. I've got a splitting headache. <laughs> if Jason got wet from Freddy, and then Corrigan if that he drowned, therefore that means he's completely useless now. <laughs> If, if you're a Phalanx fan, you'll get what I'm talking about. I'm afraid you're gonna have to try a lot harder than that. Thanks to the Necronomicon, I'm quite beyond killing with your little toys. And since you don't want to be a good little undead camper and die, I've got another plan for you. All right, you hillbilly shitsickle. <laughs> you're going for a little ride on Necronomicon Air. There's a little passage in here that will send you to a place where you'll never bother me again. The Deadites should enjoy your company. With your non-stop blathering, you should have an endless supply of kills to keep you busy. Oh, the suffering that shall come. The sweet, sweet suffering. And after you're gone for good, I'll finish Ooh, reading epic. the book and remake the world in my divine image. Klaatu. Barada. Nix. Huh? <laughs> you Don't you know when to stay down? Sorry, Hasbro. <laughs> I only go down on one thing, and it sure as shit ain't the wrinkled ass <laughs> ones of you. Oh, you think that hurts? Well, I got some bad news for you, Dreamer Boy. I'm a 35-year-old clock puncher at a department store. My life has been one horror after another, thanks to the Necronomicon and the Deadites. I've had to dismember friends and lovers while they scream and beg for me to stop. All to stop this book from destroying the world. You might think that whatever pain transformed you into the creature you are now was the worst thing you've ever felt. You ain't seen nothing yet. Ooh. Oh, that's gonna leave a mark. What the hell are you smiling at, no nuts? Uh oh. Oh, close one. The old William's luck is still. I'm almost glad you're back. That guy talks. Why, Ash is smoking wet. He completely useless now. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll stop now. You gonna prance around here, or are we gonna dance? <laughs> Swing and a miss. Didn't that meat sweater wearing dyke of a mother teach you how to play ball? I learned from my brothers Freddy, 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 and Freddy. And the first thing they taught me was strength and numbers. Get him. <laughs> 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 All right. Who wants some? Why, Ash got no wet. He completely useless. Okay, I'll stop now. I think that joke might be getting up a bit old. You, you killed Freddy. Enough screwing around. It's time to. Hey, lip dicks. Come get so Oh, oh uh, Carrie, the book. For God's sake, Carrie, read the damn passage. Send these bastards to hell. Uh, oh, 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 shit. <laughs> so the little bastard finally figured out how to play catch. Too bad it's just a little too late. The Necronomicon gave me the power to bend reality to my fancy. That means I don't have to stay here playing grab ass with you two halfies. 
There's a whole world of kids just waiting for my personal brand of terror. This would be a really good time to read the damn passages, Carrie. Ooh. Oh, Klaatu, Barada, Niktu. What? What did you do? Oh, I'm not. No! I'm not leaving! It's my time! It's finally my time! Yeah, it's working. The Vortex is sending them to the Deadites realm. Ash! I can't hold on! It's pulling me in, too! Don't let go! You just have to hang on for a few more... Oh, no! He's too strong! Shh, shh. Come on, come on, start stabbing! Mm -hmm. Set this travesty right now. I need the book. Don't you see? I need that book now. I didn't realize it at the time, but now that it's all over, it seems so clear. Enjoy your that time at Club Dead I hope. It's a hell of a place to visit, but you're gonna be a resident there from here on out. Shut up, Ash. Now, give me some sugar, baby. I came to Crystal Lake by coincidence. Or so I thought. But it wasn't a random transfer or punishment for destroying the original S-Mart location that brought me here. It was fate. Is it really over, Ash? Are Freddy and Jason finally gone for good? I don't know, baby. The dead I seem to keep coming back, no matter what I do. I'm sure they are. I was destined to save the world from the terrors of the Deadites. The Chosen One, who would track down the Necronomicon and stop the ancient monsters from entering our world and plaguing the living. But I didn't realize that the Necronomicon itself was changing reality to bring me here. I think it was actually afraid of what Freddy would do with the Kandarian power squirreled away in its bloody pages. No doubt part of it hoped I'd be killed in the crossfire. There's only one thing I know for sure. It's over. For now. But in the end, the monsters in the book were banished to the dread dimension of the Deadites. The evil dead. Serves them right. That just leaves me, the boomstick, and the hot chick. It's not exactly a fairy tale ending, but it's good enough for me. After all, it's very good to be the king. Oh, well, the Necronomicon. <laughs> That book has gotten wet in the water. It's completely useless now. Oh. Oh. Oh, damn. That kid. That kid looks like a post credit scene. Shut. I don't want to. Wow. That was wild. That was wild. I really enjoyed this. I really did. Not gonna lie, this was pro this was actually epic. I'm surprised there hasn't been any more films like this. In fact, I think there was there's rarely ever been like I don't know, the comic dub genre is very rare. Um and it doesn't seem to be very big in the YouTube community. But with that being said, that was wild. That was really wild. And yeah, I must say, I really enjoyed that. The voice acting could be improved a little bit, uh, especially with that Kerry character. But we're, we're, uh, it was good. The story was really good. I know like this guy didn't actually create the... Freddy vs. Jason comic, but yeah, really good, and I really enjoy it, and with that being said, uh, make sure you go and subscribe to Steven Gr Greenland, and I will see you next, I will see you on the next video, I will leave the video on the channel in the, in the description, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, leave a like, tell me what you thought in the comments, uh, go subscribe to uh, Steven Gurren, Get the subscribe to my channel and do all the YouTube stuff. With that being said, I'm Harry Flutibia. Remember it? No, you don't have to.